Joining them is uh, Lucy Garcia, who will translate for Ferran. So would you please welcome Lisa Aben, Ferran Adria, and Lucy Garcia. Uh, Lisa? Lisa, I should add, is the uh, Time correspondent for Time magazine in Spain. That's what she does in her spare time. Uh, she worries about politics and, and social uh, history. And, and bullfighting. And bullfighting, uh, and a former academic historian. Um, Ferran, welcome to New York, if I may. Thank you very much. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure to have you here. Um, tell me, how, how often have you visited us here in New York over the years? How often is, how many times, is this Ferran's first time in New York, or how many? No, he estado in the year 88 for the first time. Ferran's been here often, he was here in 98, uh, 1988. He, he remembers it perfectly because he, uh, he was staying at the Royalton Hotel. Y fue y no dormí en toda la noche. And he couldn't sleep all night. Porque, porque no, supe, no supe apagar la luz. Because he didn't know how to turn the lights off. <laughs> yes. vale. Era la primera vez que había hoteles de diseño, ¿no? Y entonces era, nadie sabía cómo se apagaban las luces, ¿sabes? No. It was like the first time really design a chic, slick hotels were around and nobody knew But how to turn the lights off. The... Y después he venido muchas veces y es una ciudad que que le tengo un cariño increíble porque me queréis mucho, ¿no? And he's been back many times since then because he feels very welcome in the city and it's a, it's a really fantastic place. Well, well, welcome back. You know, I thought a place we might start talking tonight is um, our experience of food and of the meaning of food begins in our childhood. That's the place where we first uh, take those things in. So I wanted to ask you, Ferran, and you too, Lisa, if you would, what's the earliest memory of a, a transformational, an important food experience in your life? Antes, antes, me gustaría que, que hiciéramos una reflexión. Uh, before that, he would like to um, make people think about something. Y después de esto podemos hablar de cocina. And after that, we'll talk about cooking and cuisine. <laughs> ¿Cuántas veces hemos hecho esto en nuestra vida, no? So how many times do we all do this throughout our um, days, our lifetime? Por ejemplo, ahora Alan lo está haciendo. Alan's uh, just doing this now. Yes, we, hemos hecho miles de veces. We do this thousands, thousands of times. No, no, no le damos ninguna importancia. And uh, we don't seem to give it the importance it deserves. Vamos a concentrarnos. So let's get concentrated. Vamos a ver el agua. So we will observe the glass of water. <coughs> Veremos que es transparente. We will observe that it's transparent, it's translucent. Olaremos. We will smell it. No tiene olor. There, it has no smell. Un producto comestible que no tenga color, no tenga olor, nos costaría mucho encontrarlo. Seguramente no hay ninguno fuera del agua. So uh, if, then we will observe that um, Something that is odorless, transparent, has no flavor. If you analyze, it would be very, very hard to find anything quite like it. There aren't many products like this in, in the world. So we will then drink. We will observe it's about 10 degrees. Y reflexionaremos que el cuerpo humano acepta Menos 15 grados, un helado, y más 60 grados, un consomé. Esto es lo que el cuerpo acepta. And then we will think about the fact that we, a human body, can accept a, a variation of minus 15 degrees, an ice cream, and a plus 60 degrees, which would be a consomé, a broth. Es muy poca cosa, si comparamos con el, con el calor del, del, núcleo, del núcleo de la Tierra, por ejemplo, ¿no? It's nothing compared to the temperature of the nucleus of the Earth pero es lo bastante para poder crear un contraste de temperaturas. But enough to create a contrast in temperatures. Después veremos que la textura es acuosa. Then we will observe that it's a liquid. Hay millones de texturas comestibles, hay millones. There are so many um, million different types of edible textures. Después veremos que no tiene ningún gusto básico. 
Then we will observe that it has no base taste. No dulce, no salado, no ácido, no sweet, no it's not um, bitter, it's not salty. No tiene ningún matiz al paladar, no es astringente, no es picante. It's not astringent, it's not spicy, it has no um, different variations in the flavor. Después reflexionaremos. And then we will think. Y hacemos, haremos, hasta ahora hemos utilizado los sentidos. And we will observe that until now we've used our senses. Ahora utilizamos el, el intelecto. And then we will use our intellect. Y diremos, sabemos que es agua porque es agua. And we know that it's water because that's a fact. We Pero know si viene alguien water. de Marte, si existen los extraterrestres, if uh, extraterrestrials were to exist and they came to Earth, no sabrían que es agua. They wouldn't know it's water. Reflexionaríamos de que si no bebemos agua te mueres. We will then observe and reflect upon the fact that if you don't drink water, you can die. Sí, seguramente es el, pro, el, el, el producto, el ingrediente más importante en la, en el, en la alimentación. And that makes it one of the most important ingredients or products in nutrition. Veríamos el componente social donde hay millones de miles de niños, de millones que mueren por, porque no hay agua. It has a social component because we will also realize that there are thousands and millions of children that die every year because they don't have enough uh, drinking water. Entonces, para seguir hablando de cocina, tenemos que decir de cuál de las dos maneras hablamos. So in order to talk about cooking or cuisine, we'll have to decide on which two aspects we're going to um, talk. Um, Lisa, let me let me bring you in, yes. if I if I may. Um, you've seen the experience of El Bulli, so to speak, as I say, from the, the worm's eye point of view, from the point of view, and you've been tracking it now for mm -hmm. for quite a while. How does that process begin? How do the very uh, philosophical and, if I may say, profound ideas that Ferran has not just about food but about the whole experience of eating? How does that begin to weigh down on the life of a 18-year-old who's arrived from Tokyo or San Francisco and finds himself in the, in the kitchen at El Bulli? Honestly, uh, they find themselves rather disappointed often. They uh -huh. come from, as you say, from all over the world, and they have all of these ideas about El Bulli. They know that they come thinking, I'm going to be making squid ink foam and spherifying mango juice and doing all of these wonderful things. And in fact, they end up doing the very boring, tedious labor of... Chopping onions. And... Ch not so many onions, <laughs> <laughs> but shucking oysters, or uh, one of my favorite dishes from the 2009 season was a, a risotto that Ferran made from uh, corn, which sounds normal, right? Corn risotto, fine. Except that instead of using the kernels of corn, um, he was actually, do you know how inside each, each kernel there's a, a little germ? Yes. Well, imagine those as if those were the grains of rice in a risotto. And that's what the dish was made from. And so you would have these 15, 20 young cooks who spent literally an hour each day squeezing germ the, from... The corn. tiny white little bit from the thing. That. So, <laughs> that came as a bit of a shock to many of them. It wasn't what they were thinking of at the moment they dreamed of their great stage at Albuy. Yeah. But they did, uh, you know, the te so the tedium was something... But, but isn't that, that in a sense, with. very much what Ferran was talking about before, about the water? That is, that cooking isn't um, abstract thinking. It's paying incredibly close attention to the actual experience. So it's noticing that there's the one white germ in the, in the bit of corn. So e Exactly, which is why... Even though it is tedious for many of them, what they tend to take away from this, as many of them has told, have told me, is that they learn to think about food. They learn to think about it in a totally different way. And that does come from that intense concentration. On the, paying attention. Ferran, thank you for your philosophy, thank you for your music, and thank you for teaching us how to drink water. <laughs> <laughs>